cash receipts journal used to record the cash receipt of the entity. So we'll have the cash receipts journal. Again, with an accounting software, it might be that we're going to be asking for some type of report with relation to the cash receipts journal, which may not be named exactly the cash receipts journal. But obviously, we're looking for a report that has cash receipts on it. Credit memorandum used to record the return of goods by customers. So this is going to be important for the recording of revenue as well, because the credit memorandum, which is usually something that many times within even the accounting process, if you ask the, the bookkeeper or the people in the accounting department, what, what's the journal entry behind a credit memorandum? They don't really know, right? They, it's obviously because it's, it's backwards. It reverses the sales. So we have to understand that the credit memorandum is typically going to be the, the reversal. There's going to be some type of return. Uh, and therefore, it's the easiest way to think about it. The transaction related to it is going to think about the sales transaction that will typically be reversed and then make any kind of adjustments such as sales. Uh, instead of sales, you've got uh, the sales returns and allowances. So anyways, the credit memorandum form can be a little bit uh, confusing to analyze when you have those returns. Because most of the times when we think about accounting, we think about the sales process and the return uh, is a little bit backwards in our mind. So credit memorandum, we have the write-off authorization. Authorizes the write-off of an uncollected accounts receivable. Uh, final approval is often done by the treasurer.